Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net on Perl scripting language. <coughs> so far we have seen Perl on Unix platform or Linux platform. Perl can be installed on Windows also. Uh, there is a version of Perl called Active Perl. There's a free download, free community edition available. You can download it from their site any commercial use you need to be uh, aware of the licensing thing but there is a lot of free versions of Perl available for Windows also. To make sure that once you install on Windows it's correctly installed if you go to the DOS prompt and then type path you could see uh, something called path c colon Perl there's a bin so there's a path that should point to your Perl site the Perl directory. Same way if you type Perl minus V it will always say Perl version this is a version 16 5.16.2 on Windows. Uh, this is uh, different from the one that we have seen for Linux. Today we are continuing on the loops. Previously we have seen for loops and while loops there is a do while loop also. The construct is you have do, brace, then the print statement. You notice one thing, I want to have multiple things to be printed. You can have argument 1, comma argument 2, you can print that as well. Then dollar uh, i plus plus. Now this is do and then I have a while at the end of this do statement. So I get a number from the user, then I loop it, then till that number is equal to the loop counter is equal to what I have given on the prompt. So let us execute it. I go to this prompt pull p2.pl. It is asking give me a number. Now I'm saying 8. It prints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the prompt. This is nothing but the same effect as for loop or while loop. Now, there is another loop called until loop. Instead of this while, I can always say until. Only thing is you need to reverse this condition. If it is a while loop, as long as the condition is true, the loop gets executed. If it is an until loop, you need to reverse the condition until $i greater than $v1. So the moment as long as this condition is false, this loop executes. The moment the condition is true, it comes out of the loop. Now, let me save this. This is a simple notepad. Only thing, only thing that you need to do is in the notepad, you need to uh, store it as p2.pl and not txt file. So now I execute the same thing. Now I give 8. Now it does the same thing. So the only difference you do you have between uh, while loop and until loop is very simple. In while loop, as long as the condition is true, it is executing. In until loop, as long as the condition is false, it executes. This is a fundamental difference. So we have already seen for loop, while loop, do while loop, and do until loop. There are the basic constructs in the looping structures. There is one more loop that we will see that uh, now, before that we will see arrays. This is a simple example of arrays. Now you might have noticed something. In some versions of Perl, you may have to use this my keyword to declare the variables. In some versions of Perl, you, ha you can directly start using the variables. In some versions, you have to necessarily declare the word my and then the variable, then start using the variable. If you see here, I said my at symbol a. This at symbol at is used for arrays. So you need to declare an array using at. Then I want to assign elements to array. You have to use the normal brackets. Then the first element apple, comma, second element comma third element you can have a lot of things also okay now the moment you have this 
uh, array defined. I want to print all the elements in the array. There's a very simple syntax available. There is a new loop called for each. I say for each dollar $x within brackets at a. That means for each element of this array. Then print that element. I have not declared a counter. I have not incremented the counter. I have not said how many elements are in the array. Simply I used for each dollar $x. For each, this means for each element in this array, the syntax is you need to use that within the regular brackets. Print that. I print that dollar $x. Each time this loop executes, what happens is it fetches the next, next element. So this is the beauty of this array. So once it goes through all the elements, it finishes the loop. Now let us go and then execute it. This is p3.pl. Now Perl p3.pl. The moment I execute, it says element is apple, element is orange, element is banana. Apple is an element, orange is an element, banana is an element, but there are three different elements within that array. So now, if I want to print a specific element, okay, print uh, second element is, you need to do at a within square brackets 1. Okay, this array starts with index 0, exactly like in C, array index starts at 0. So the 0th element is apple, first element is orange, second element is banana, but uh, if you want to do that, if you say 0, 1 and 2, okay, then the second element is actually 1, so 2 minus 1. So if you want to have nth element, you have to say n minus 1. Let us execute this. It says there is a syntax error near that. Let us go that and then find it out. So he has, he has got a syntax in this place because I have given an extra bracket over here. Remove the bracket, execute it again. Now it says second element is orange because zeroth element is the one first. In your thing, the second element me means this one. But the index is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is how you need to access arrays and then access the array elements. I'm going to show you two more keywords that you can use for arrays. There is a command called a push. The array elements are currently three, apple, orange, and banana. When I say push to this array, this new element, this gets added at the end of this array. So the hello will be the fourth element. So once I push that, I'm going to print what is there in this particular array. Now let me execute this. Okay. This is the original array. If you look at this, this is the original array, apple, orange, and banana. Then the second element is orange. Now, I made a push. Then it says printing after push, apple, orange, banana, and hello. So initially, the array was having only three elements. Now it has got four elements. Same way, you can have a pop also. Now, instead of push, I say pop. For pop, you don't have to give any arguments because the moment you pop, it pops always the last element. Now, I'm going to print this again. Now, let us save this file. This is a simple notepad, okay? So, previously I pushed. Now, I pop elements. Now, let us execute the same thing. Now, it says uh, pop near at this line. Let us go back. Okay, sorry, I missed the semicolon. I save that. Come back. Now see here, original array was apple, orange, and banana. Printing after pop, I made one pop, it removed the last element banana. So if you keep on doing pop, it will remove the last element till you come to the first element. If it doesn't have any more uh, elements, it will start give you errors. Okay. So this is a simple 
array pro processing in Perl. So you can define the array, you can access the array elements, you can do a for each loop on the arrays, you can push and pop. There are a lot of other things that you can do, but this is uh, these are all the essential items that you need to know on arrays. Thank you.